Norwich City met Southampton in April 1994, comfortable in the knowledge that they were secure in 11th place in the league. The same could not be said for the Saints, who were second from bottom and fighting for their premiership lives. Norwich's season was based on the goal scoring of Chris Sutton, who'd netted 23 times. The Canaries were without a win in four, but had the edge over Southampton in premiership games, winning two out of three. Manager John Dean made one change from their match with Aston Villa, Neil Adams replacing Colin Woodthorpe. If anyone was to save Southampton from relegation, it would be inspirational skipper Matt Letizier. Alan Ball's side hadn't won in seven games and desperately needed to turn things around fast to avoid the drop. Ball made one change to the side which had lost against Manchester City, Matthew Bound replacing Steve Wood. Your commentator is John Champion. Neither of these sides would count themselves as form teams in the English Premier League right now. For Norwich, it's one win in their last 15 outings. And for the Saints, no wins in seven. And they find themselves mired in the relegation zone next to bottom. Here's Jim Magilton. And really, when you look at the quality of the Southampton squad, there is no way they should be struggling as badly as they are. Norwich just thankful that they made such a good start to the season. Here's Neil Adams. It's an early tester for Dave Bessons. And here's Crook. Gary Mason. It's too strong for Darren Eady. Alan Ball took charge of Southampton back in January. Magilton. It's angled for Dowie. And here's Madison. Just didn't catch it. Found himself in a useful position, Neil Madison. Ball arrowing in from the right boot of Magilton, and it was a decent leap by Dowie, who may have had an arm around Pryor's shoulder. But Madison got it all wrong. Megson. Safety first by Francis Bernali. He is an uncomplicated defender. Bowen is forward to take the throw. Edie. And there's Sutton. Well, he got to it ahead of Ken Moncow. But he was stretching and couldn't get the requisite power. Promising start, this, though, by the home side. Megson. Culverhouse. And here's Jeremy Goss. Adams bearing down on Charlton. Goalkeeper's punch. It was a bit of a flat by Bessons, but it was enough. Tails for handball against Madison, not given. Now there is a free kick. And there's also a problem for Gary Megson. The Norwich player coach and Tim Shepherd, the long-serving physio here, showing the concern of those on the bench. Megson's made himself an important cog in the Norwich midfield, but he is struggling. Warm applause for the exiting Megson. And Norwich have decided that he can't continue. And his replacement is striker Mark Robbins, who is due a goal. Whistle goes. And Benali takes it quickly for Southampton. Dowie. Magilton. Now Paul Allen to waiting. Dowie stretched but couldn't get there. It was Southampton's best move of the game so far. Again, the vision of Magilton putting in Paul Allen. 
And another yard further forward, Dowie would have scored. Sutton. That's a corner. Norwich's season has long since petered out. Four games to play after this. They were third at the end of November. Now 11th. In by Adams. Moncow's header. There's Ian Crook. Still rising when Besant stopped it. Few better strikers of a ball in the English Premier League at this moment in time than Ian Crook, the Norwich skipper. Magilton. Here's Benali. Dowie. Moncow. Now here's Letizia. What can he do? Well, as always, nothing is beyond the compass of Matt Letizia. In the midst of another prolific season. Beat Culverhouse, but couldn't get it on target. On by Sutton. Here's Robbins. That is a very good goal. And no wonder the substitute, Mark Robbins, is celebrating. Because from Sutton's flick on, he's managed to register his first Premier League goal of the season with an emphatic finish. Madison. Paul Allen. Oh, and Alathorn's header, and Dowie hit the post when it seemed easier to score. Kenner who played it in. And Ian Dowie. Here's Crook. Sutton, goal gaping, Besson to the rescue for the Saints. Didn't try and take it round the goalkeeper, it might have been a better option. Matt Bound left trailing in Sutton's wake. Letizia. Mark Bowen. Alan Ball, just three wins in 11 Premier League games. Magilton. Madison. Oh, and it's in. And Neil Madison will claim it. But I have a feeling that that was going wide. And it came off a Norwich defender. Rob Ullathorne was in the way. And technically that has to go down as an own goal. Whatever the protestations of Madison. Alathorn, the unfortunate man. Norwich's lead lasted seven minutes. And they've not often been in front of late, but Alathorn's own goal means it's parity once more. Jason Dodd on the bench alongside Alan Ball. Began the season as manager of Exeter City. And that's half time. Norwich supporters here at Carrow Road have been starved of recent success. Here goes Sutton, as Moncow got there fractionally ahead of him. Neil Adams. There's Goss! That's a peach of a header from Jeremy Goss. His speciality, the late arrival from midfield. And via the inside of the post, 
and a pinpoint cross from Neil Adams. Goss has given Norwich their lead back. Madison. Southampton with it all to do again. Magilton. Letitia. Looking for Dowie, found only Ian Culverhouse. Dowie. Magilton. Paul Allen will vie for that. And the bounce was awkward for Ullathorne, but there is a free kick. A little push by Allen. Goss, Moncow, Dowie, Jeff Kenner, Magilton, now the Tissier left it in the end, and the shot doesn't trouble Brian Gunn, Gary Megson now on the bench alongside John Dean, Benali. Magilton, Allen, Edie dispossessed him, here comes Southampton once more with Magilton, scoring goals hasn't been that much of a problem for them, it's just they've conceded so many this season. Crook, here's Robbins, Parry! Sutton gives Norwich a two-goal advantage. Direct and to the point. The long ball from the back. Robbins with a super piece of control using his chest. In behind Benali. Besson could only parry it out. And it was a tap-in for Chris Sutton. Hugely successful season for Sutton in a struggling team. Magilton. It's a long way back from here for Southampton. A tangle there between Allen and Ullathorne. Magilton. Always rising. Set up by the square ball from Matt Letizia. Contact was sweet enough. Norwich securing the knowledge that they are heading for a ninth consecutive season in English football's top division. Which is their longest ever stay at this level. will be mighty concerned at the way in which their form in general has ebbed away. Letissier's touch. Madison. Letissier waiting. Oh, and Letissier scoring! Frankly, Brian Gunn should have done rather better. There's a bobbler of a left-footed effort by Letissier, which took a deflection on its way. Even so, the Scotsman Gunn will be acutely disappointed by that. Whistle blown by Keith Cooper. A free kick from Crook to Sutton. Didn't get hold of it. But every time Sutton has the ball. Southampton back line looked frightened. Spencer Pryor holding off Paul Allen. Oh, 
Southampton with a renewed sense of both purpose and hope. Jeff Kenner. Kenner allowed to run an awfully long way and chopped down. It's a penalty. Conceded by Rob Ollathorne. It's turning into a bad day for the Yorkshireman, wearing 18, own goal, and now the concession of a penalty. And as we know, Letizia hardly ever misses. He's only ever failed once from the spot. It's 3-3. Brian Gunn unable to add his name to that of Mark Crossley. Crossley, the only goalkeeper ever to have stopped a Matthew Letizia penalty. It's given. Sutton left on the floor. Norwich led 3-1, it's 3-3. Sutton! Correction! 4-3! Chris Sutton's 25th Premier League goal of the season. This is turning into a remarkable second half. Sutton rising, guiding his header back across the goalkeeper and kissing the inside of the post on its way in. His second of the afternoon. Twenty-five minutes to play. And what must Southampton be thinking, having fought their way back from two down to be level and now behind again? Some have to test the spirit and togetherness of any team, let alone one threatened so seriously by the drop. Here's Letizia. Handshake from Ian Culverhouse, who caught him late after he dispatched the chip. Dowie. Letizia. Now Adams for Norwich. Sutton, nicely on the chest. Couldn't get the shot away properly. Magilton. Allen. Kenner. Letizia. Dispossessed by Robbins. Here's Crook. Mark Bowen. Driven against Simon Charlton. It's an orange throw. Norwich's last win was here against Everton three weeks ago. But that's their only victory since New Year's Day in the Premier League. Here we are on Easter Monday. Kenner. Letizia! It's a hat trick and it's 4 4. And what's more, it's a header by Matt Letizia. It's the perfect hat trick. Left foot, right foot with the head. Of 39 Premier League goals this season for Southampton, Letizia has now scored 20. More than half. Yet another twist. It must be agonising on that bench. Allen. Forward comes Charlton. There in the nick of time was gone. It was over Sutton. Robbins goes for it. Comes now for Jeremy Goss. It's a sharp stop by Besant.
4-4 and all to play for. Letizia. Floated forward, it's awkward from Woodthorpe. And there's Kenner. There's a full-back's finish, but Woodthorpe should have cleared first time. Instead, he just teed it up. Sutton. Mark Robbins to retrieve it. Sutton! Well, no exaggeration to say that Chris Sutton could have had five today. This was by no means the worst of the chances to come his way. Suggestion of handball, though. There was no whistle, though. Goss. Crook. It's a good spot. Mark Robbins. Helped on its way by Bessens. whether it would actually have gone in. Besant took no chances. And we move now towards stoppage time. Goalkeeper's ball. And the great thing is there's no caution from either of these teams. Southampton arguably in greater need of a win, but both are going for it. It may be that the only thing that will beat them is the clock. Free kick given against Paul Allen. And Ullathorne will waste little time over this. In fact, he decides that he's better off further upfield and Brian Gunn's being left to take it. 90 minutes on the watch. Matt Bound, looked like and indeed was a foul coming into the back of Chris Sutton. Crook, Moncow forcing himself in front of Sutton. Ullathorne, blocked by Kenner. And now Southampton free kick. Southampton have lost their last three. Their last victory was 1-0 against Wimbledon fully six weeks ago. Besant ushering everyone forward. Letitia. Faced by Woodthorpe, and that's a corner. And there will barely be time for Southampton to take this. But they're sending men up from the back. Letitia. Moncao! Extraordinary! 5 4 Southampton. Having trailed 3 1. And that could be a massive goal from the massive defender. Five games to play. That may be Southampton's Premier League lifeline. And Letizia has scored three and set up what may well prove to be the winning goal. And Norwich looks shell-shocked. Spectators heading for the exit, it is all over. It is a giant win for Southampton. Five games for them to play, inspired by Letizia. They've given themselves real hope. But for Norwich, just one win in 16, they are stuck in reverse.
but it has been a truly memorable game. The victory lifted Southampton one place and proved the catalyst for the South Coast side to preserve their ever-present record in the Premier League. In their last five games, they picked up two more wins and survived a nerve-jangling final day to stay in the Premiership by just one point. Norwich, meanwhile, finished the season in 12th place on 53 points.